Okay, hello there. This is a video response to the Ungram members following their video on the top 10 most headed cards, of course, in their opinion. And as you've asked for it, I'm going to give you my opinion on what I think is my top 10 most hated. Now, these bottom few, I haven't really got in any particular order, but um, I've written them down. Well, I'm still deciding on which order to put them in. However, the top five I've got for this list are going to be in that order and they're set in stone. The others, I'll, you'll probably hear me shift around as we go on, but anyway, I think the order I wanted to have them in was like this. First of all, let's start off with Light Pulsar Dragon and Red Eyes Darkness Melt Dragon. Uh, for those of you who, who own those cards, you know what I mean when I say they're one of my top 10 most hated, because um, essentially they can put themselves in an infinite loop where they can just get one to fetch the other, so essentially they never really leave the field. So what you could do is, even if you do something like Dark Hole, they'll just come back straight away. I mean it's okay if you're using it, but still, um, it's such a pain to deal with when you get those two powerful monsters, and not everyone has monsters they can play straight away with uh, two nine attack plus. And even then you've got to worry about their back row, so it's a right pain to deal with them. Because you can't really use mod um, card effects to get rid of them. Unless of course you negate their effects, but then again it's a real hassle to get around them. Which is why I'm going to put them at number 10. I think they'll stay at number 10 because the others I think are certainly more annoying than, than those two. As I say, they're easier to run over. Um, okay, which one should I talk about next? I think I will talk about Absolute Zero. Now, people are thinking, why do you hate Absolute Zero? No one actually uses it anymore. Well, the thing is, I'm not going based on what's used now. I'm going about based on what I've come across during the time as I've played the game. I remember a time, like before Synchros, was it before? No, sorry, not before Synchros, but basically, when a lot of people were using Absolute Zero, I just could not stand the sight of him. Because you take Absolute Zero, and compare him to all the others which require a certain attribute monster to make them. You've got Gaia, Great Tornado, I can't pronounce the dark one, Shining. You look at all those compared to the Absolute Zero, I'll tell you the one difference Zero has that the others don't. All the others say Elemental Hero, whereas Zero just says Hero. You can use any hero to make him, any water monster to make him, so that means you can essentially make him multiple different ways compared to the others. And then his, there's his complete, sorry I'm going to swear here, bullshit effect where when he's removed from the field, doesn't matter how you do it, it blows up all your monsters. And I think that's just such a load of bullshit, the fact they made something so powerful like that and don't restrict it the way they did the others. If anything, for ones like, um, like Guy, his effect isn't too great, but it's, it's useful. I think he should have been just any hero. I think for effects like Zero, to have it just as a hero, I think it's a lot of rubbish. So I'm going to put Absolute Zero as my number nine. Uh, so going on to my number eight, and another two cards. These are Void Ogre Dragon and Infernity Barrier. Now the reason I hate these two is because of the stupid loot which Infernity players use now. This revolves around using that the two main cards of course are going to be Infinity Mirage and Hundred Eyes Dragon. So essentially you cycle the effects of Mirage with Hundred Eyes Dragon to keep bringing back monsters from your graveyard, namely oh, I really can't remember his name uh, the, you know the thing which lets you search your deck for an Infinity card essentially they summon him and get the Infinity Barrier and he can do this all in one turn so from one turn they could essentially go from like the six cards they've got in hand to having um, <clears throat> yeah, Void Ogre Dragon and three Infernity Barriers. So they've got a monster at 3,000 attack and three back row which can essentially negate any type of card effect so long as they've got a face up attack and Infernity Monster. And then if they play Infernity Guardian or Gardener, sorry, then you can't get around it, you can't destroy it. So it's, And even if you do try and do something like bounce it, they've got barriers to stop it, or Void Ogre Dragon, which I think just really sucks the fun out of it. If I run into that, I'm just quitting straight away. I'm, I'm not going to bother with 
crap like that. Oh, I just really can't stand things like that that put you in a position where you can't do a damn thing. Which is basically like them saying, okay, you sit there while I win this thing. You can't do a thing, I'll just do everything for you. Type. I just can't stand games like that. I like games where they're back and forth, like there's no clear winner. But for someone who's got something like that, where they can stay on top pretty much the whole game, it just pisses me off. Um, for number seven, I think it's going to stay there. Gateway of the six. What annoys me about this is the fact that whenever you summon a six samurai monster, you place two counters on it, you can remove four counters from it to add a six samurai to your hand. And given the way they play, as soon as they play gateway to six, they're going to have two summons already. They'll then use that to get um, Kizan or Kizan, however you want to pronounce his name. They then say like go into Xi'an, that gets another two counters. Play Kizan, another two counters. Well, not necessarily in that order, but you get the idea. Basically, cycle through keys on and just spam a whole load of special summons, which just irritates the hell out of me. So basically, they can end up with uh, some really, really um, that could be lower down, but I just hate the way they can summon so quickly. It's, it's that one, but personally, I think it should be banned. It's just too overpowered for them. Uh, yeah, all well, this right is putting murder on my throat, but basically, I just can't stand the side of it. Anyway, moving on to number six. Griffer of Dark World. Now Griffer is self-explanatory really. When he's discarded by a card effect, you destroy one card on the field. I think it's your opponent's side only, but you can destroy one, then what you do is you say, Oh, I go um gateway to the dark world no not gateway. You know the field spell. You go, oh, I banish that, I discard beige, I draw one, return beige to my hand, summon Gref at 3,000 attack, attack for game. Or what they could do, they could be a complete dick and play the two trap cards they like to use with them. Deck Devastation Virus and Pandemic Virus, or whatever it's called. Pandemic Virus, you can essentially stop your opponent from playing any spells or traps, one or the other, by tripping the monster... Dark Monster 2, 5 or more, and because Gref is so easy to summon, it means you can pretty much play it whenever. Which I think is just so stupid. And not only that, every time you draw a card, they get to see what it is, which I also think is very unfair. I mean, the trap card itself isn't too bad, it's just a case that it's so easy to abuse with Greffa. Same with De Devastation Virus, because some decks, like the ones I run, they've got monsters which are 1500 or less, and they're very vital for my deck. Like, um, I've got a Gusto deck, and they're all pretty much below that attack point margin so it's just really annoying to deal with that the fact you can destroy him and they'll just come back the only way to get rid of him is to banish him but I'm going to get to a little argument about this issue of like how do I get around these monsters towards the end of the video providing my camera hasn't cut out halfway through let me just check make sure it hasn't done that no I've got um, I'm halfway through the time limit I've got so the next five Big Eye. Yep, I hate Big Eye because he can just go, oh, you've got a 3,000 pound monster, I'll have that. Can I get it back? No, you can't. You have to destroy it and bring it back with Monster Reborn. So it's funny because I started out using Big Eye, it was just a case of now he's so easy to summon, he's just so broken. He, he needs he needs to be limited or banned. I, I don't care what they do with him, they need to do something about it. He's just too overpowered.